titles and living together, I feel like it's overrated. I mean, let's just be real. We work better when we in our own area. Do we not? In the beginning, you was getting shit done. Now you watching movies to 8 o'clock. Like, I don't even be doing this shit. Your hustle goddamn ain't the same no more. Start losing money. <laughs> so shit. Take her to Neiman Marcus. Let's go out to eat every day. You start going out to eat every day, then you start getting fat. And call that that relationship weight, right? Start getting fat and unattracted to each other. <laughs> now understand people, I'm entitled to my own opinion. So although you may not feel the same way I feel, which is fine, that don't mean what I'm saying ain't true. And I don't mean what you saying is true. Am I lying? Tell me what a lie at. Oh. And if you don't want to see me eat, exit this yeah. video. I've been on my grind and I can't lose. Waking me up now like I can't snooze. Niggas don't make it home like they used to. Niggas ain't making dough like they used to. I ain't come to play with you niggas. I'ma make a few bands. I'ma shake a few bitches. I'ma make them understand. Ha, I'm not a gimmick. I'm different, 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 different. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm going to do a um, crab leg mukbang. But I got to put up my groceries first. You know what I'm saying? I had to get a little grocery grocery. You know what I'm saying? From the store. So, my sister was like, what you going to eat? Child, I was uh, getting crab legs. And I'm like, nah, y'all go ahead and warm these up. So, I can't eat them. Ain't no sense of me wait. But anyway, what's up with y'all? Um, <coughs> that man looks sad. Don't y'all hate when black people say little? I like your little channel. I hate when people say that. I be seeing you on your little channel and stuff. I hope channel little. Okay. <laughs> but um. Yeah, y'all, I had to get a little grocery, bro. My limit was $50, you know what I'm saying? I gotta start having limits for shit, cause I just buy whatever. It don't even, it don't even make sense. Like, okay, my limit's gonna be $50. And then I go in and, and come out and spend $250. That wasn't in the budget? No, was that a part of the plan. Got me a little yogurt, so I got to melt me some butter. Now I gotta get me some, uh, I wanna start from scratch, you know what I'm saying? Get my bowls over again. Get my, um, my plates and stuff over again. And my sister said, I can get that type of stuff from the dollar store. She said, <laughs> my sister's all about being frugal, you know what I'm saying? Well, hell no, nah. she beyond frugal. She just cheap, you know? But she was like, uh, I could get a whole kitchen set, you know what I'm saying, from Dollar Tree, about $8, you know? I was like, damn. So let me get a little butter going. Little butter. Got to have that butter. I'm gonna eat me some crab legs, a little salad. I only got one pound of crab legs, nothing more. All right, y'all, let's eat. Hungry as hell. Been moving like hell, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I finally Can enjoy a decent meal. 
So y'all, this video might piss some of y'all off. Because for some reason, oh, and if you don't wanna see me eat, exit this video. No. This may piss some of y'all off because some of y'all just don't agree with me on this. You know what I'm saying? But the older I, I get, I'm realizing there's just different people in this world. <coughs> preferably, preferably three different types fall into three different categories. You got niggas that know what's happening. You got niggas that have no idea of what's going on. And then you got the ones that make shit happen. So, with having those characteristics, you may tend to be, you know, strong in certain areas, or you may tend to lack in certain areas. You know what I'm saying? Now, mm hmm. I don't have no paper towel. So, I told y'all I would make a titles video. Because I preferably think titles change the game. You know. Have you ever Been going steady with somebody. Y'all doing your thing. You live in your own crib. She stay in her own crib. But then, y'all decide, you know what? I wanna live with you. You know, and I want us to be together. On that. I want us to live together. So, before everything was cool, you know what I'm saying? She might spend a night. You might spend a night. Hell, y'all might even get a hotel room just for the fuck of it, <laughs> you know? So then, boom. Start living with each other. And uh, so <laughs> I'm jumping from subject to subject. Let's say you start going together. You start dating. As in like become one. Get in a relationship. Then you decide you want to live together. Right? You do that. And shit ain't the same as it once was. You can ex express certain things to her. Damn. When you're mad at her, she can go home. <clears throat> when she don't got in there, <clears throat> she ain't right there in your face. You know? But then, Y'all, y'all move in. So you realize how a person is living, right? Either the motherfucker just too damn clean or just too nasty. It's almost an in-between. Like I'm an in-between. Like, as long as it look neat, I'm all right. I don't want nothing to smell now. But I can damn sure take neat over just absolutely perfect, you know? So, 
You you just like shit mediocre. You cool with mediocre. Shit, might have a dish or something when you go to sleep. God. <laughs> might have a dish or something when you go to sleep. Might. But shit, you gonna get that thing in the morning. Listen, baby, I'm gonna handle that thing in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Tired. But she got a problem with it. <laughs> she like, uh-uh. First of all, this is just an example. Not saying this, you know, goes on in my household or went on in my household. These, these are just prime examples of relationship shit. You know. Um. She like, uh-uh. You getting that dish tonight. All right. Hold up. Now. I just told you, I'm gonna get that dish in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get it in the morning. Then that becomes an issue. She's like, uh uh. I can't sleep with dishes in the sink. You be like, shit, you wash it. No, because it's your dish. Some shit y'all ain't never fell out before. Y'all ain't never fell out about before. You know what I'm saying? That's your goddamn dish. I know that's my dish, but I'm not about to wash it because I don't want to wash it. You know what I'm saying? So if you want the dish wash, you better wash it your damn self. Why you got an attitude? You know what I'm saying? Then that, then that, then that comes into play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have an attitude. I'm just telling you, I ain't washing the damn dish tonight. But... If you want to wash that bag, you wash it. So, in a woman's memory, that's going to be kept. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Told this nigga to wash the dish. <clears throat> he don't want to wash it back. <clears throat> or she don't want to wash it back. You know. You got them people that would have been like, okay, babe, I'll wash it. You know what I'm saying? No problem. I'll go against my word. I said I don't feel like doing it, but I'll do it for you. Then after a while, it sounds like you telling me what to do. Mm. Then you start noticing hell. She ain't never washing no dishes. <laughs> but always telling me to wash the dishes. <laughs> it's just, I'm telling you, shit just petty, man. All right. Titles and living together. I feel like it's overrated. I mean, let's just be real. We work better when we in our own area. Do we not? In the beginning, you was getting shit done. Now you watching movies till eight o'clock. Like, I don't even be doing this shit. Your hustle goddamn ain't the same no more. Start losing money. I'm just telling y'all. This shit right here real. You start missing plays. Don't let you be the plug. You start missing plays. Because you're going on trips and shit. All that money you saved up while you were single. Minding your business. Now you're spending it. Cause you got a little girlfriend you want to impress her. You know what I'm saying? So shit. Take her to Neiman Mark. Let's go out to eat every day. You start going out to eat every day, then you start getting fat. And call that that relationship weight, right? 
start getting fat and unattractive to each other. <laughs> like, God damn, man, I'm missing money. Keep taking you out. Oh. And then, don't let you stop doing the shit you used to do. See, that's when shit go bad. That's when it goes bad. A woman expects you to do everything you was doing when you start. Unless you got you a boss. You got you a boss chick, she got her own money. Nigga, she ain't even got time for you. I don't know what you talking about. I ain't even got time for you like that. Am I lying? Tell me what a lie at. There's some good relationships out of here, out here. Shit don't be going that way. You know? Shit don't go that way at all. And people, cool. And love. Till they get married. Then when they get married, for some reason, everything goes to shit. When you're married, everything goes to shit. Like, boy, didn't you just get married? Yeah, bro, but goddamn. You got 30 days. You got 30 days. If it don't work for you, then they won't charge you the court fees. <laughs> like, I just think, you know. Relationship stuff nowadays is overrated. Now, understand, people, I'm entitled to my own opinion. So, although you may not feel the same way I feel, which is fine, that don't mean what I'm saying ain't true. And that don't mean what you're saying is true. I'm just giving you my perspective. <clears throat> of how shit be happening. I feel like when it ain't no title, shit just better. It's just different. I guess the expectation isn't so high. might not be put on that that pedestal you know which is okay there's a lot of responsibility when you're on the throne uh -huh. and on that pedestal there's a lot of responsibility plus I don't feel like you can truly love anybody till you love yourself first. You know? I feel like a lot of us don't be loving ourselves first. You know? And, um, I think that's what matters. I think. So here's the flip side of things. When you love yourself first, I think relationships last longer. You know? And, um, because you, you value you first, you know? We tend to put our boyfriends, our girlfriends ahead of us. And it turns into a, I want to cater to you, I want to cater to you, I want to cater to you. Then you forget about your damn self. The regimen you had before you was creating for yourself, that goes away. You start sacrificing things 
to please the other person. But when you love yourself, I don't feel like you going outside that schedule. Like, okay. Before we go any further, baby, I need you to know I work out every day at 8 in the morning and will continue to do that. <clears throat> um, I do this, I do that, and I will continue to do all these things even though we're in a relationship. Nick, what does that have to do with you loving yourself? You love yourself enough to not alter your um, schedule, which is very important. And like we all want to schedule every day. You love yourself enough to not alter what you have going on to please someone else. Like, listen, baby, I love you and everything. I got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I don't have time for this. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully so. Then some people will call that selfish. So, if that's selfish, if that's selfish, then what is the other person being that needs something? I'm selfish because I can't do this for you. But are you not selfish for asking me? Or are you not selfish for trying to alter me? Who's really selfish here? You know? Who's really selfish? I guess that would be both of us. <clears throat> But I don't have to switch up my regimen for you. I ain't got to spend a night. We don't have to get a crib together. I don't have to stop everything I'm doing to please you. I don't have to do none of that shit. Especially to the people with no kids. I, I ain't got to do none of that. You know? Who's really selfish? Have you ever thought about that? I don't know. Just the more and more, you know, I grow, the happier I become. You know what I'm saying? And it's because I'm starting to love myself more. I love myself more, you know? I will say I didn't love myself enough. For the past several years, I'm realizing by being on my own, I ain't love myself at all. And I would say, that's sad, but shit, it ain't. We all go through our shit. You know what I'm saying? We all grow. If you don't know how it feel to go through it, you won't know how it feel to grow through it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just fuck. I've learned, I'm learning more and more by the day. Self-love is the best love, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna love you like you love you. And don't get mad at nobody else for loving their damn self. If she says she got to go, man, uh, she got to go. I mean, I see like, man, come on, baby. Like, no, I gotta go. Man, you got, she gotta take care of her business, you know what I mean? Just like you. But let me know if y'all like videos like these. Because, child, I got so many topics I could speak on. And shit that I could eat on. You get what I'm saying?
So, um, let me know what y'all want me to do, man. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video. Please come to my all-white party for my birthday, man. And, um, that's it. Warrior Assassins, we out this bitch. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G, the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.